bowl filled with uh, ragout of uh, mussels. department for the last three years you were at Truth and Consequences. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> I was younger, thinner, had long hair. You were so nice to me. Uh, and now? Now? Executive producer. What? Truth and Consequences. Oh my God. What are you doing here? We want you to come back to this show. You must be nuts. No thanks. Eight episodes, we shoot it in two days, you have total script approval. You can change anything in the script. Hell, you can even write the script. And I'm getting you the same money as your last contract. My last contract was an insult. Double. Double my last contract is still an insult. Look, I'm not interested, okay? I don't want to work with you. I don't want to work on truth and consequences, and I sure as hell don't want to work with that slime bag of an empty suit you call a network executive. Now, one of us is going to leave. Either me or you. It would be more courteous, of course, if you left. Forget that we spoke. Forget you found me. Forget me. Goodbye. Well, goodbye. But what if we get out of here? Bye-bye. 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 Well, good morning, good afternoon, or evening, whatever wherever you are. Very happy that I could accommodate your schedule, Trent. Hello, Sean. Do you recall what I despise more than anything? Uh, giving your cast, crew, and actors respect and a decent wage? No. Wasting my time on trying to accommodate your schedule. Um, don't... Uh, I, I wish you wouldn't make me laugh, Sean. It antagonizes my back injuries. Okay. Well, let's cut the small talk. I tracked you down perhaps halfway around the world because, Trent, the network is ending T and C. Truth and consequences is being cancelled. We'll be off there in a few months. We'd like to see Kane come back for one last big bang. We've got a great story to bring you back. We'll send the show off there in a spectacular ratings killing finale. So, what do you think? Okay. Well, the network and the fans, we want you to come home. I am home. I'm not leaving home. And I don't know why you're bothering to do this, Sean. You sent that executive producer of yours over here, and he tried his best. Forget him. I have. He's pushy, you know. He's irritating. He stalked me. And so, basically, I'm done supporting your career. The show's been good to you, Trent. And other than our unfortunate parting of the ways, I was always good to you, too. Oh, please don't. <laughs> yeah, you were good to me. You were good to me. You fired me. And then you sued me for breach of contract for something that I didn't even do. I didn't even know about. In the year and a half that we litigated my case, you stopped me from working anywhere. And I ended up having to give you two years of my salary back. Yeah, that, uh, that was all nice 
You ruined me. My bank accounts. I had to sell my house in Malibu. But I survived. I spent three years working on the docks in Hamburg, unloading ships. And I was happy. I was a happy man until this. I got it caught in a winch unloading herring from a tanker. And I lost the hand. Yeah, but on the other hand, you won an Emmy. I won three, you asshole. You became rich. After your lawyers were through with me, I became alcoholic. Don't be bitter, Trent. It's so unattractive and a leading man. Oh, besides, none of this is personal. This is business. This is show business. Well, it doesn't matter because I forgive you. I'm not asking for your forgiveness. Neither one of us knew it at the time, but it was uh, actually a blessing in disguise. It was a very hard one lesson. And apart from this, <laughs> you did me a favor, and I'm not gonna let you take it away from me. So, there's no point talking money. We're done. Oh, that went well. Here I am, Amsterdam. <laughs> Don't ask me where I am. Good. <laughs> Get away from me, get away from me. I'll put this in your eyeball and spin it. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. Excuse me, Trent. Go away. Trent, excuse me? Please go away.
Trent, hey, hey. Trent, meet me. I'm telling you, you'll love it. I don't want to read the script. I don't want to love it. Just leave me alone. You'll win an Emmy. I don't care about Emmys. I've got an Emmy. Well, actually, you have three. I don't care about Emmys, Academy Awards, Nobel Peace Prize. Just get the fuck away from me and leave me alone. I want my privacy. Stay away from me. Police here! Well, what about... How about just do it to save the show? Your friend's jobs. Who cares? I don't have any friends. Do it for me. Oh, please. Get out of it. Well, what about... No! So there's still a chance? Don't want to work on your little show.